the relationship that you had with this young lady. Yeah. How right. did you meet? How did you meet really? the young lady? Mm -hmm. You, you wasn't far off. I met her as you said in the strip club, and I, I don't want to give all details about what was going on, but we started talking. We went on a couple of dates. We play even in that her favorite place. She knows where that place is. Some place that we went where she told me that she fell in love with me. Okay, so, the place that you took her, the, the place that you took her to, that you introduced yeah. to her, that was the place that she stated to you that she fell in love with you, correct? Yes, yes. All right. So, we know we did talking, we do we thing. No people say relationship, get. Yeah. It was hot and sweaty, as people would say. And mm -hmm. we were sitting down on my couch one afternoon, and she said to me, when she goes back to Jamaica, because I asked her what she going to do was her plan when she goes back home. Because it, as I tell you, from day one when I met this girl, it was all about helping her succeed in life and get forward. Mm -hmm. so, from the time, so we were sitting down just having a conversation, just you know, getting to know each other more. And I said to her, what is your plan when you go back home? And she said to me, oh, she wants to start a business. So we talked okay. about business and stuff. And I said to her, I am not sending you money. That is not who I am. That is not. I have been advised against it from so many people in my life to set, not to send people money. So I'm not doing mm -hmm. it. She said, okay. So fast forward to when she goes back to Jamaica. Now we were still talking every day for like a month. And then one day she says to me, am I going to help her with the business? I tell her, listen, I already told you. I don't want to do that. I don't be sending money. I'm not that type of guy. If, okay. you want to come, if you want to come back to Barbados and spend more time with me, you could work in the club. I said, if you want to go out to the club, you could go back in club. You could live by me rent free. You know, I pay, I pay the rent already. Renting that much, I pay my rent. I pay my bills already. You live there, you just got to buy your own food and what's not. You could save the money so eventually you could start the business on your own. She said, she don't want to go out to the club. But I said to her, well, if not, if that's not the op if coming back is not the option, then you gotta find another man because that's not who I am. She said she doesn't want to be with another man, she wants to be with me. You following? Yeah, I understand. Right. So it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of me saying no, I'm not saying I still ain't sending money, a lot of her begging me mm -hmm. to send the money. It's, I got all those stats still in my phone. Um mm -hmm. she begged me for the money until eventually I bite the bullet <clears throat> and I was gonna send her the money. But another, and then we, and we, uh, one of the reasons we started arguing then was because when they went to send her the money now, she says to me, oh, I have to send it to her mother. And I'm like, what? Why you got sent to your mother? And the mother don't have the same last name, right? So I was, so I was like, mm, this sounds like a scam, you know. Why you got to send the money to your mother? She was like, well, her account blocked. Oh, her so Western she, Union was blocked. Yeah, her Western because, Union blocked. Um, allegedly, the blue, the blue person. Blue Royal, yeah. Yeah, her 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 yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, they blocked her doing her doing dealings in the past with other people. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So the mother, so I end up sending the mother the money to the mother for the business. Mm -hmm. she took so hold on, the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me sit down and, and recap what you say. You're saying that the young lady. Um, yeah. This is this is March. This is April last year, by the way. April last year, this. So you met her last year. When you met her? March. You met her March, and she went back yeah. to Jamaica in April. Yeah. And she was back and forth telling that she want, you want to start a business, and you were reluctant to send her the money yeah. for her to start the business. And she basically convinced you to send the money when, after you yeah. gave in. So after you gave in, she said to you that she, she can't, you can't send the money to her because her account is blocked yeah. from Western Union. So you would have yeah. to contact send the money to her mother. Yep. But you were reluctant to send the money to her mother because, because her mother had a different name, so you thought it was a scam. Yes. Okay. And the money that you were sending was for her to start a business, correct? Yes. And I also have in my mess in my foot messages her saying to me, even if we broke up, she would pay me back the money. I have that in my messages. Okay. Okay. So what kind of business was it that she was, was going to start? 
man, this all oh, this is real personal. I don't want to really out all the girl information. No, but you have to remember this, you know, sir. You see, if you don't speak any specific any specificities, mm -hmm. people are going to feel that it's a lie because remember that she came and, and spoke of business that she had and all of them something. And if you don't speak the specificities, people okay. are going to feel that you're fabricating stuff and not telling you okay. to speak out our personal yes. information or stuff. But that the type of business that she was starting, those things are public knowledge and public domain. So those things are things that you can actually dive out. Okay. It was a... Uh... She wanted to do a clothes store. Clothing store. Yeah. So I sent her a send a set of money because she said to me, and this is the next thing too. She said to me, the money that the initial sum of money is all that she needs to get started. Cause I said to her, give me a breakdown of everything that you that you need. Give me a, a budget to see how much it can cost total. And she was like, She too tired right now. She will gotta do it another time. But the next mm -hmm. day, because they didn't want to argue, I was just like, okay, how much you need to start it? And she said, okay, that's how much she needs, so that's how much she got. Right? Okay, so you gave her the amount of money that she needed to start. That she, yes. Yeah. And she said, because she basically went and she, she, she must have gotten estimates or whatever and known how much it would have cost to start the business. Yeah, and, so we do the amount. And she, you she, went the amount. She, went to, she went to business school, so she know what she's doing. That's what she tell me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She went to business school. She never, well, see, yeah, that's what she told me. Okay, all right. Yeah, so. So, so she, she took the money and she used half of the money to play, pay for the place. And another half, more than half of the, the more than the other half to, to pay for furniture, have furniture made. All right? Mm-hmm. And then she used a little bit of it to pay for bills, but she didn't tell me that originally. So I thought all the money went into the business. Okay, so you thought that the money that you gave her was to go into the business. So she used some yeah. of the money to, to, to pay the rent for the, for the place that she was yeah, what? Exactly. And she paid the other rest, she paid some of the money to, to make furniture and, you know, the things that we need to open that close to her. Yeah. And... and, and then she told her that the money had run out because she had used some of the money to pay some bills that she had incurred otherwise from the close store, correct? Uh, yes, but yeah. I didn't know that initially. Then okay. she came back a couple of weeks later. She came back and she said to me, she need another sum of money, a stock. And I was like, I thought you had everything you needed already like you tell me you want this money to start it so i didn't know that you would continue to ask me for more money she says to me so yeah hold, you on, hold, on. hold on one second so mm. she went to a store furnish she went rent a place a space to make a clothes mm. store yeah and she furnished the clothes store and put up drip and water and sitting i we make a clothes store and she don't yeah. have no clothes to put no. in a clothes store to sell no no she she was she was working backwards. Anyways, I said to her, I was in, initially again, I was against it. Don't want to send this money, but I had already invested in this store, so I was like, okay, I can give you it. And she also used to sell clothes online, right? So I said, okay, well, I can give you the money for the stock. You sell the clothes, however you get them sell, and put that money back into the business. Mm -hmm. All right. So then now, so I sent her that money. She bought the stock. I don't mm -hmm. know what happened. I don't know what happened to the stock up to this day. Then a couple, like two weeks later again, now she comes to me and she says, Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you say you're sending her the money to stop the store. Yeah. So after you send her the money to stop the store, did she, did you see a store formulate? No. But that's what I'm saying. Did you see any business? Did you see, sir, anything, any, any evidence to support that she, had a business or anything? No, she, she showed me. She, I asked her for receipts. I have receipts that she paid to rent the place. Yes. Oh. She sent okay. me those receipts. Right. But, okay. So I asked for the receipt for the furniture as well. and But she never got that receipt to me. Mm. So the only receipt I had was for the rent for the place. Okay. Then another, after I sent this money for the stock, another two weeks or so later, she said to me, she wants mannequins. All right. So I, so I should ask for the same amount of money that, that the stock was for. And I said, no, I'm not sending you that. I'm not sending you that. But So she get and she 
argue with me and say that how she can start the story. She don't do this and she don't do that. I said, send me the picture, the mannequins, the message the person said to you, like how much it can cost everything. And we, we are not, I think it was we are not getting four, like halves or something. I got the pictures on my phone. So we are not yeah. getting four, four mannequins total. And then yeah. after that, no, I can't, I, I will go look to my sister to see exactly what happened, but the store, she would want money for, for bills next. And I said to her, well, if the store is start yet, go back to the people that you rent the store from and tell them you ain't ready to start it yet and get back the original money you, you, you was renting it for. She said she don't want to do that. That's embarrassing. I was like, but if you ain't ready to start the store, you ain't making the money off your store. You're paying rent on something you're not making money on. It's better you save that money and you could even use that money for your bills. She was like, no, she ain't doing that. But like a couple, like a month later, she keep asking me for the, for this money to, so, so this is, this is at the end of, this is in April, May, this is beginning of June now. She start asking me for the, for, money for bills. And I said to her, what happened to the money that you were supposed to go back and get from the people? She said she went back to them, but the people say it's too late. Oh. Uh-huh. So basically you're saying that, you're alleging that the young lady, she rented the store, furnished the store, got stock mm -hmm. for the store, got mannequins for the store, but the store was not operational. And she wanted you to send more money to pay more rent and more bills for the store that is not operational. She, no, she never asked. She never asked for more money for the store. She was asking for money for bills. Oh, for her personal bills. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. So I was mm -hmm. like, I done send you so much money already. Um, go go back and ask for the money that for the store that ain't making no money. So when she mm -hmm. did that, the people said it was too late. She was renting for too long already. All right. So all right. So we we see the type of relation. This was the last year. Last year. Last. At the last year, that I could fast forward all the way to this year because mm -hmm. you and I broke up for a period of time and you got back together. Let's fast forward to this year with yeah. everything that's going on right now. With the whole issue of 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 you and I, you stalking her and 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 you allegedly um threatening her life and um getting a hitman to to come to attack her and all that stuff. What happened with that? Okay, well, I have, I took some, the, the text that we, that started the argument, and I can probably post them later on tonight or something. But basically, I know after getting to know her for over a year now, I know when she is going to come and ask me for money. I know how she does it. She always calls me the night before. We have a good conversation. Then the next day, she's like, can I call you? Can I call you? Because <laughs> she's like, she don't like to text anything. She can ask me money. She don't text. It got, she got to be calling me. She got to call. So she she was telling me about this seven. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second before you go this up. You said basically that you know her pattern. You are the, you, because you and her have been speaking for so long and you know her behavior. You know, knowing her pattern that whenever it is that she wants to ask you for some money, what she normally does, like if she wants money from you, Friday, she call you Thursday and she talked to you, have a good conversation and sweet you up and nice you up and get all of the sweet up things and make you feel nice array. Right? And then Friday yeah. now she call you. She she texts you and say you have to call her. Guys, she yeah. have an or whatever. When after you call her now, then is when she divulged that she actually needs some money. Because yeah. according to you, you're saying that she doesn't normally text you that she wants money. She always does it over a call, a phone call, a WhatsApp call, this, or a straight this call. This because, year, yes. Last year, yeah. last year she would text, but this year she she realized that okay, that stuff can be because I told her, well, I have all the information on my phone of you saying to me, you're gonna pay me back. So oh. now yeah. So now oh, because, she, you had, because you and I had an agreement that the money that you gave her for the store was to be paid have, back. She would have paid it back. No, she decided yeah. she learned and she matriculated her tactics to, to yeah. stop calling you to stop texting you and actually calling you because you cannot see the audio from the call right. that states that, okay, she was um, asking for money. <laughs> or, uh, she, okay, all right. Allegedly, still, allegedly. What allegedly. Back, here, back to what you're saying. Yeah, so 
this was July 29th now. No, before July 29th, she was telling me about this sum of money that she needed. But a couple of months ago, we were, we sat down and we talked about all of her bills and everything, and all the debt she had and all the loans she had. And we basically break them down into what she could pay off immediately and what she had to put down for later. Mm -hmm. And at no point in time did she tell me about this last set of money. All right. So a couple of weeks ago now, she was, she started telling me about she need this, this amount of money. You know, I see how much it is. She need this amount of money. And I just, I didn't want to argue with her at all. I didn't want to have a fall note about it. So I would just ignore it, not address it or anything. So on July... Right, hold on, hold on one second, because you, you, you missed out part of the information that you told me. Because we are talking about alleged now. So basically, people, for the people, remember those sets around, because I see your accent kind of tick a lot of people not, probably not answer, understand exactly what you're saying. So you okay. told me that she was renting a motor vehicle. And the yeah, motor, but, rental for the motor vehicle was almost costing a hundred thousand, or no, sorry, a thousand US dollars. Yeah, per month. month. Mm -hmm. So she had this motor vehicle for for what period of time? You said for a thousand dollars per month. She had, it, she had it from January before we started back talking. We started back talking in February. She had it. She was renting it from January, from, and until when? Until I will have to check the messages immediately when I when I told her to give it back. But it was like. It, it was after it was definitely after April, May. It had to be in May when I told her to give it back. Right, let us because, say until April. Let us just say April. Yeah, just April. for arguments. So I want January, point. Well, on January, February, March, April. So she had the vehicle renting for basically the minimum of four months, and she was yeah. paying a thousand US dollars a month for renting this motor vehicle, and she had accumulated oh. some debts. I mean, let me let me do the exact, let me do the exact calculation and tell you how much it was. Calculator fifty five five two five fifteen. Yeah. She was she was paying she was paying fifty fifty five I shouldn't say all this. She was say she was paying fifty five US right fifty five US every two days. Huh? Blue eyed is alleged. Stalker, um, the alleged person who is threatening her life, the alleged person who is seeking a hitman to kill her, allegedly, obviously. He chose not to show his face because he doesn't want to be spread all over social media like this. Understand? So we have already confirmed that it was actually him from previous conversations. You understand? So I am going to turn on by the comment section just for a little bit so you can say what it is that you have to say. Zin, let me take up the caption here. Yeah. So I've turned back the comment section on. Uh huh. People, you have all seen and heard the story. Zin, you have all seen and heard some of the story. We're still not reaching. Another reason why the argument started. You know, the first part. You understand? So. I am not saying, and I'm asking you people not to just jump and believe everything that this gentleman is saying. You understand? Stan? Zin? I am asking you not to just jump and believe everything that is this man saying. Remember that this is all allegations from his side. So we heard her side. I think it was only fair for us to hear his side. You understand? Zin? So we are going to speak about the stalking now. And we're also going to speak about the um, allegations of um, murder or threatening our life and stuff like that. Um, ready? Yeah. Um, Jake? Yo, we're here. Jake? Yeah, we're still here. You hear me? Yo, brother. Yeah. Man, still a calculator bombard. Are you here? You hear me? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, the blow wall. Let me punch it for comeback. Ethan and Jake. Jake is doing the calculation right now. He has come out of the chat and gone into his WhatsApp to check the calculations. People, everything what the man are telling me right now, every single thing what the man are telling me right now, I have gotten WhatsApp message. What's WhatsApp messages to confirm what you are hearing? You understand me, I say? You hear me? Hold on, one second. second. Jake. Yo. Hello. Let me turn off about the comment section. One second. Jake, my boss. Yeah, you can hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, this man gone, man. I'm still here. Well, all the people, where we can't Jake to come back. Don't know about the comment section. Jake? Yo? Yo, brother? Now nah, here, you know. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, the man come out check and flip up the soul again. The man come out and check and flip up the soul. People, hold on them. Turn on the comment section. I'm going to take out Jake out of the chat. Zane. Him answer me. Me can't yeah, hear him. Hold on, Mr. Sand, and do something there once. Can I see me? Hear me. Yeah, you can hear me now? Oh, I'm here, you know. Yeah, man, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Sorry about that. Yes, sorry about that, my brother. Oh, I'm here now. People not hear him? Yeah, All right. Him. All right. You know, Jay. So, as yeah. I said, Maybe you want to just talk, skip straight to the end of the thing? No, man. The, the calculation for the car. We have about the car now. All right. Mm -hmm. Man, I can let people do their own calculations because I don't, man. I'm talking. Right. got me talking. All right. If you, have, if you have a break again, well, uh, uh -huh. now turn off about the comment section again. All right. Ready again. So, the cal forget about the calculation. I could talk about. All right. Basically, I could just, just give a brief preview because if you have a cut off again, I don't want to cut off and then the live go done because I don't want to go live here too long because I have work in the night. All so, right. Um, all right. Now, quick and fast. You said that she was she had a rental car plus she had other expenses and you were trying to help her with the expenses and she told you X amount about the expenses and then something and the X, after the expenses were cleared off, now out of the blue, she started to speak to you about a new expense. Continue from there. Yes. A new a new debt that she owe. Yeah. So to so avoid any arguments or any conversations about it, anytime she brought it up, I would just be like, I would just change the topic or say something else. I completely ignore it because I I told her in June. Oh, that's how it used to be. You understand? So she get and talk. Oh, we can get to that point. <clears throat> so I sit down for thirty minutes and I said to myself, Look, I want this girl life get messed up. She's young. She got still got a future ahead of her. I don't want your the rest of your life to destroy because you you cannot pay about seven hundred US. Money comes and goes. I I have it. I can send it. It is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So I get up. I went. I went and have a shower. Went to the ATM. Headed down to Western Union. I called her mother because the mother is who collects the money. So I called the mother and I said, "Yo, if the <coughs> money is important to y'all." I'm heading there now. I'm going to send the money in five minutes. Y'all better start going. So when they collected the money now, I said to her, all right, did you pay it? Did you pay it off? And why didn't you tell me about this money when you talked to me about the rest of the bills before? Yeah. She, said, she said to me, she, can, can she call me? I said, no, we argued too much. I don't want to call. Just tell me the answer. She said, she can tell me if I call. So that's when I started to get angry. Now I was like, "What are what? Why you got? Why do I have to call? Just answer the question." So she keeps saying she got, she has to call, she has to call. So from there, I was like, "Listen, send me proof that you pay off this thing." Mm -hmm. Right? She refused to send me proof. So we stopped talking that night. That was the, that was when that was the 29th. That was Wednesday. 
the Thursday morning now, she messaged me, hey, good morning, Leif. everything cool. I said, you got proof of this thing yet yeah. that you pay off? She stopped replying to me. The Friday, she come again. Hey, good morning. I said, are you going to tell, are you going to show me the proof of you paying off this thing? Or you can tell me the truth about what you do with the money. You understand? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't hate the girl. Listen to me, the money done sent. You understand? So it's like, you could just tell me the truth about what you did with the money. It ain't gonna change the fact that I sent the money. Because mm -hmm. you don't have the money already. I'll let you know. So just tell me the truth. Like, if you pay off, then send me the proof. If you didn't pay off and use the money for something else, and just tell me what it was. Mm -hmm. But I feel what happened is that she she know that last time was last time I sent her money. I said this is this was the last, and now I come and send again. So if she doesn't if she doesn't show me the proof, then she knows that well for sure that's it. That's what I believe. I don't know if that's what she was really thinking. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that went on. The Saturday, that was that was the Wednesday night that I sent money. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We we hardly talk. It, it, everything it was the same thing whole the all all day. Um she would message me, I would say, Yo, you can send me proof. We would we would just talk for like a couple, five minutes, whatever, and then we stopped talking for the rest of the day. Until Wednesday now, August the fifth, because people because she said in her life, and they they just want to address this part. She said in her life that oh, this guy has been stalking her. She don't know how long. That, she mm. did that August tenth, right? But that was Sunday or August ninth. Why did you? They must say the ninth. I think the ninth. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. She made that late. We talked Wednesday morning because Wednesday morning, I called her. No, I messaged her. I was like, because I done arguing. I went to squash this beef. So I called. I messaged her. I said, Hey, good morning, beautiful. She then replied to it, but it was on Instagram, and I saw she was on Instagram. It came up active. She was on Instagram. So I called her. I was like, yo, um, I messaged you this morning. How comes you didn't message me back? Because it's like an hour or, two, or hour or two after. And she was like, she didn't see it. And I was like, what are you doing? She said, she called me, she here. And I was like, okay, well, you can show me proof you think today. She said she don't want to talk about it right now. So I was like, okay. And I just put on the phone. And I went and do my thing for the rest of the day. I went and sleep. When I get up, I said, all right, I done arguing. I can call and make sure she's good. We can talk it out because that situation, that was a week ago, I done arguing. I realized that she blocked me. She didn't tell me that she done with me. She, oh yeah, I had, I had sent one more message. I sent to her, I said to her, um, I can start lying to you like how you like to me after I put on the phone in the morning. I wrote my day, whatever, do my thing. Come back to call her in the evening. She blocked me. She ain't messaging me saying that we done. She ain't messaging me saying, she didn't want to talk to me anymore. She messaged me saying nothing. She just blocked me. Blocked me on WhatsApp. She blocked me on Instagram. So I went to, I called her mother because I got the mother number on WhatsApp. I called her mother. was like, yo, what's up? What's happening? Um, she okay? Whatever was going on. The mother says, she told her daughter to block me. Mm. You understand? So that's why I'm telling y'all. And that's why I'm, I'm telling y'all so I still respect her and I do not hate her because when we have our arguments, we argue, we block each other, whatever, but we talk it out in the end, especially after I give her money. If she blocks me, it's normally before I give her money or because I refuse to give her money. Not mm -hmm. She does not block me after, when we, after we give her money and we argue, whatever has happened, it's happened, we end up talking about good. This is the first time she ever blocked me after I gave her money. And when so, I called him, hold on, hold on. So, so she was she normally block you whenever she ask you ask you for money and you don't want to send the money. If, yeah, if it's like a situation where she was asking me to help her and I and I say no, I'm not doing it. Like there was, I didn't, she was she she said something like, "Oh, somebody that don't want sacrifice for her, she don't want in her life." All right, and she will block me. So this is the first thing that she blocked me without. After, after she gets she normally block the money. Block you yeah. before she get money, but no, the first she time she got blocked you after she get yeah. money. Yeah. So, oh, so I called the mother and I was like, "What's going on?" And the mother said she told her daughter to block me because Beja men always playing victim. Oh. Right. Um. So we are not having a little conversation, and she told me about how. And see, this is this is too personal, and I, I, I but I can tell you everything because I just say holes is make. So bad stories. She told me that she was married to a Bajan man and 
she ended up leaving him and she dashed with his phone. She didn't want him out of she nothing. So I was saying to myself, oh, that is why you have this bias against us. It's not that your daughter isn't happy or daughter or their daughter isn't well, trying to get married to the Asian man. The daughter the or mother. the mother. The mother. Well, the mother said she was that married to the Asian man and she dashed her phone. Yeah, she, she, she left her. the man and dashed her phone and everything. You know? What the and question she... you want to ask is, Mm -hmm. How is it that she have this huge bias and she, know, she wants she, her daughter to block you? But she was willing to go to Western Union to go and call it the money when you send it? Every time, from day one. So you have so many times, because the mother said that she only spoke to you two times. She only had two conversations. Yeah, uh, but you, you all, she, yeah, she, we only have, I have spoken to her, uh, we have, I have said hi, hi to her more than two times, but we only sat on the phone and talked two times. It was back in... April, and then Wednesday night. Okay. So yeah. the only two times alone, you've had deep conversation with her. About. With the you mother. You've spoken to her other times when, like, you call her to pick up the money and yeah. stuff. I've, I've called her, and I've called the girl, and I've said, well, let me say hello to your mother, and I'll be saying, like, hey, how you doing? That sort of stuff. Okay. Nothing, nothing deep. Okay. Allegedly, mm -hmm. of course. So yeah. so now, so after you spoke to her mother, and her mother um, relinquished this information to you, you started to stalk her then. Uh, this is when the stalking came, no, right? That, well, that's that's what y'all call stalking, but that is when. Um, so all the stalking, I, because I, she she showed evidence of you calling the phone many times. Yeah, that, let me talk about that because what happened when I raised that she blocked me. I had called her the Wednesday night. I blocked my number and I called her because that's how I normally get through to her when we block when she when she blocked me. I would just block my number, call her. She she knows it's me. It's no, nobody else is going to call it that. She knows me calling. She normally, sometimes she might answer the, the same day. Sometimes she's given a couple of days before she picks up. So this mm -hmm. so hold on. So basically, I said this was her, was her normal tendency. So she yeah, blocked you, and then you would normally set on, basically become the puppy dog or the lap dog and just start call, call her every minute. Well, it's not every minute. It just seemed like that because when. Nobody else ain't calling her phone at the moment. So when she scrolled through and showed y'all all the missed calls, it looked like if it was calling every minute, but that's for us over a couple of days. Like I called her a total of four times Wednesday night. When mm -hmm. I found she blocked me. I called her twice on the on the entire day on Thursday, only called twice. The entire day on Friday, only called twice. Saturday now, when she still had me blocked. Still wasn't talking to me. Anyways, wait, this thing is a little bit more serious than I actually thought it was. So that's when I start calling a little bit more on Saturday evening. <clears throat> and then on Sunday morning, I tried calling her again a couple of times. So that's when now she went live now and then start talking about, oh, she getting stopped, whatever, whatever. That's a total of four days after she just blocked me out the blue. And I only, I only started actually calling a little bit was Saturday and Sunday. So, so when did you get in contact with the hitman? Or when did you get to speak to her, to threaten her? Because I don't hear this no. speech where they talk to her I, when she blocked her. I Listen, I never, I wouldn't even know where to start when it comes to that. Like, why, okay, let me ask you something. If you invest in somebody, right, what is the point in hurting that person? You only hurting yourself. If no, I invest... Hold on, hold on, hold on, boss. Because yeah. a lot of men, you have... Yeah, we have seen it in the past where men spend a lot of money on women and they feel like mm -hmm. the woman is contractually obligated to stay with them. So when the woman don't want to stay, them do acts of violence. No. To, to, like them say, oh, if me can't have you, nobody can have you and kill the woman. We see them something in the past. So this is why we see these things when she said these things as credible. We see these things are things that are probably believable. So that is why I'm asking you now, sir. When did you and her have a conversation? Or when did the call connect? Because basically, yes, she was not answering the calls. Right. When did the call connect for you to actually issue a verbal threat or a text message a threat to her? We, haven't, threat to her? we haven't talked since Wednesday night. What I believe she is referring to about the threat, and this is the only thing I can think about, is that while we were arguing, I said to her, karma is a bitch. And you will get what you deserve. Oh. You understand? When did you, say, when did you say this to her? While we were arguing. When that? This was in the whole, in the week, in the, the Wednesday to Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday okay. To this is like about, about, about 
two weeks before she actually. No, made this, the is, this is this is after I sent her the the last set of money and yeah. before. She got mm -hmm. me. When you argue, yeah. I argue with her and I ask her. Yeah. When the receipt there, you right. say I want to see what part she paid the money. Before, I and told her you got a court and everything. She have the evidence. I, I think she's lying. Yeah, I told her I think you're lying to me, and if so, then karma is a bitch, and you'll get what you deserve because. As that's how as these things that I believe, I believe in karma. I believe if you if well, you treat so basically certain, the, the it man, the it man that you hired was karma. I didn't hire a hit man. No, I'm I, saying that was 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 karma the person who she saying that you were gonna send for her. Probably she don't know what karma means. Probably she feel like karma is somebody. I don't know. No, no, she understand what karma means, man. She understand, you're sure about that. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So so basically, you are alleging right now, or you're stating claim right now, that you did not. There was nothing that you said to her. There was no threat that you you, you made to her. That's what you're actually alleging. Yeah, I'm saying so. I, I never made a threat on her life. No, I never did it. All right, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. I am going to ask you to go into your contact information on your phone, and I'm mm -hmm. going to ask you to screenshot the call log, the missed call log. To show the missed calls, the, the, the calls that you made to her phone, the ones mm -hmm. that did they, just just go in, the, go in there and you can screenshot it, and I'm going to ask you to post that on your okay. page so that people can see the call log, see, seeing that guy. Yes, you said the last time that you spoke to her was, was on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, Wednesday, Wednesday Wednesday morning, and there was no other conversation with you and her from Wednesday morning. So if this is true, your call logs should prove such and your call log should prove that none of the calls would have been connected so i'm going to ask you and this is this is very important for you to do so screenshot and place and and, and post it so that people can have evidence to prove that you did not have a verbal conversation with her also okay. i'm going to ask you to screenshot the whatsapp the last whatsapp conversation that you and her had and post it i hope that when she sees your conversation that you have posted. If she have any contradicting evidence to this, she will do the same and post such. You understand? Because I honestly believe in 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 getting to the bottom of situations. I honestly believe in evidence based accusations. I honestly believe in um being real and being true and being viable to what it is that you are allegating against some or accusing somebody of doing. No? Okay. One second. I'm going to turn on the comment section. I'm going to ask the people now to give because I, I have nothing else I want to ask, but I am sure that the people on the live right now are probably itching to ask their questions. I'm going to turn on by the comment okay. section and allow mm -hmm. them to ask their questions or the questions that they want to ask. Also, I'm going to ask people to please to be as respectful as you possibly can. See, we have both been extremely respectful and I would like for you to Continue this behavior on the live. Anyways, turn on by the comment section. Ready again. As a mother, why do you live and make child, right? People, if you have any questions, please, 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 <laughs> to, please to um, send your questions. Right now, if you have a question, we don't need for, nobody need for right now laughing, right? You understand me? I say, please to send the questions. Was their relationship intimate or platonic? Question, my boss. Was the relationship intimate or platonic? Is that simple? It was intimate, but we haven't seen each other for a while. Obviously. And how long, how long now haven't you seen her? Um, not since last year. Okay. <laughs> Um, hold on one second. Somebody say, will you willingly screenshot and post what Triple has asked you to post? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, does anybody else, um, or somebody's asking, how old are you? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. That is up, up to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> somebody said uh, 
quick look at the wet bread something well on it. Um, you're in all the money transactions. Have you ever invited? Has she ever invited you to Jamaica? Yes, we were supposed. I was supposed to come up last year, but then because of the the business thing, um, my money was a little bit short to make a trip. To make a trip, as well mm -hmm. as she had a graduation the weekend that I was supposed to do it. So we pushed it back a month. But then I was sending her money to help with bills and stuff by that time. So we didn't end up. I didn't end up ever come going to Jamaica to be with her. Um, somebody says, what proof does he have that he sent the money? He sent um, me the restaurant. I have, I have, I don't, I send... put the restaurant. don't post the Western Union receipt. Mm -hmm. But he sent but, them to me already. Me and the Western Union receipt. But not, not only did I send, not only did I send one to you, but I have, I have kept every single one. You have every single one? Every single one. Wow. Wow. Somebody said, bro, Somebody said, bro, next time you use your head and don't make them take you for a food. All right. Any other questions? Hold on. Somebody said, he said he spoke to her twice. Spoke to who the twice? Mother. We the spoke mother. to the mother. The mother him say have two long conversations with twice. Um, somebody <laughs> said, Jake, you sound like a smart man. Why you keep sending her, her money? Because only when she wanted money, she called you. That is a question we really want to ask you, Chuji. Why? I don't care. Huh? I cared too much. Care? Yeah. Do you know about a ball in a brother? About a ball right as I hear? I'm a ball. 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 i am for this for the people, I'm gonna ask silly questions like that. Say, oh, you call if you're black. If somebody block you on WhatsApp, you can call straight. The man don't talk and say, Imagine this is her normal thing. Normal, she block him on WhatsApp, but she not block him from calling her straight. So, him doing private him, no man call her straight. If you block me, make him private, me no man call her straight. My big mother block me anyway. <laughs> so, I know, but no way I talk about Jake. A regular she fix with me and block me, I'm just private, me no man call her. She know, say, I'm here, call her, so she answer. Zane? Well, honey, there's no need for day. Yes, yeah, so. Take your L's, bro. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, done that. All right. Looking back, it was all worth it. Was all right. Somebody said, looking back at everything I'm um, Jake, was it all worth it? In the moment, I thought so. Today, no. So, so basically, you regret. You regret everything we're going on then. I regret starting whereas um i should have just bought the plane ticket place it back down and it would have went a lot differently instead of trying to help her be better well on the one second the jake somebody said jake next time try a dark skin fatty <laughs> <laughs> well on well on somebody's asking oh right let me forget to ask that question did you post her notes. Did you post notes for her notes? She said she stated that you had posted nude pictures of her. No, I never posted any nudes. And she she asked me about that um, a couple months back. She asked me if I ever posted nudes, and I said no. I never post any pictures that you sent me. Um, somebody actually did, did send me pictures of her dancing in the club, but I deleted them. I deleted them because I was on the road today, and I. And I was saying it to a poli the police, the police officers that were paid to be my security today on the road. I was explaining the situation to them, and they told me that Triple X don't want them information in your phone. Delete them, and them show me on some back door party going on my phone to delete them from because they say anything happened, those pictures of her in my phone could be used as incriminating evidence against mm -hmm. me. So I deleted them from my phone. But okay. I know you post them, Jacob. People, the person who sent it to me was allegedly. One of her co-workers from the club that she was working. What the club name again? I don't remember. I soon tell her the name of my club. Zin? Mm -hmm. All right. So, hold on there. Hold on. I look for the question. The question then. Hold on there. I'm more than one man. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Does, okay. So, um, Jake, somebody asks, does this change your mind towards Jamaican women? And also, does it change your mind to change your mind to it invested in your woman again? When you get one. So basically, she asks, if this, if, if this situation or this circumstance make you write off, make you don't bother want any more Jamaican woman, and would you spend money on the next woman if you're there with the next woman? Um, no, I don't. I don't have any bias against Jamaican women. Um, mm. Would I spend money on somebody else? I'll be a lot more cautious and would put a lot more thought into it before I do. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody say what me had with police ex guy. Hey, I work. Maybe Pamela would I work? I'm up with that. The Magnum. I'm oh, sorry. We can't talk about that. We have to do some kind of work, work today. We have money with we, so we need police escort. Sorry. Yeah. You know something new will come. Something new will come, people. Let's look out for you. We don't talk about that yet. We're not supposed to even have to talk about that. Chat me chat too much. I know. Um, where? Somebody said, how much money him send? Enough money him send. Based on the receipts that I saw, Enough money him spend. No found out I said 700 US and enough money for spend. 700 US are only for money for cent of somebody. 700 US, 700 US are 100,000 Jamaican that I know. Only for money that they know. For those send to somebody so where they never work for now. Anyways, that's why Americans don't want no Jamaican because we are chunker. Talk for yourself. All right, hold on. Jake, these are the events where people don't believe. Dancers because of lying, troll ups, troll ups like this. Hmm. Um. Oh, this is a good question. I am SJ. Say, and J. I want to be honest right now. I want to be real, brother. The question I'm ask is, do you still love lo um love her? Hello? So, yeah. I Even still... Do you still love her? More than one person I asked them. Everybody, everybody got a different definition of love. Um, the way that I loved her before, you know, I still have love in my heart for her, but it is different. It's not the way it was before. I don't hate her. I don't think that because of what she do, she make me hate her, make me hate who she is. That's not. So, I ask a question. It's a question from me. Based on the answer, we we'll say, well, question again. If it was that she decided to work out things with you and she gave you a chance for you and her to sit and talk out whatever happened, would you give her a chance to start out this something? To start out I, I, would hear what, I would hear what she had to say, but that doesn't mean I would give her a chance. So, Danar, you know, some have a black Danar. People on a run life of life of a king after this. Run down, down after, after the after that something happened that place. Danar, stop it, right, cool. stop it. This very moment, you hear me? Stop it, Dan Dan. Anyways, a serious matter is no more, brother. As me I say, mm -hmm. so 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 be yes, all right. You're saying that. You would sit and hear her if she apologized and if she came clean and if you truly found out that this was her mother's, her mother was the one who orchestrated all of this, would you give her a chance to come back in your life or would you try to reconcile, it with, reconcile with her and, and to start over this relationship? No, I don't, I don't think that there's a future for our relationship. But if she ever needed financial advice or... Anything like that, I would not turn it away like that. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So basically, I tell me, say, that's still the same money come here, Jay? No, no. I never said, now if she never needs finances, I said she needs financial advice. Oh, advice. <laughs> okay, yeah. advice. Mm. Yeah, mm. man. People, nobody is not a more question for the general. In there, right, you know? Jay, tell them how oh, I have to beg and plead today for company life, you know, Jay? Yeah, man. I didn't want this at all. I didn't want... I didn't, because as I tell you, she put her face out there. So anything I say, like, 
yo, you're talking about she was she worked this this and she worked that place. You know, everybody knows that because she can't she can't go back and hide it now because the video all over the internet. And I told her that I told her what you put on the internet is on the internet forever. I've told her that. So she made that decision on her own. And I didn't want to do this because you can got people in the end that hear me out and I can change their opinion of her, people that were supporting her, and then got people that were supporting her that can continue to support her. But at the end of the day, she can hold all of it because... Okay, somebody, so, asked, somebody asked Jake, did you buy the plane ticket for her? Did you buy a plane ticket for her? No, I never bought... I never bought her a plane ticket. She was correct about that. I never bought her a plane ticket. Okay, you never buy her a plane ticket? No. Okay. But I, I did way much more. I wish I bought a plane ticket. That's the truth. You eventually bought a plane ticket? No, I wish that, that. I wish that that's all I did. I wish that I had bought a plane ticket instead of what I did. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you something. I don't want you to regret nothing what you do. It's everything we're going in life, all our mistakes they are learning. They are I'm learning afraid. um examples. You understand? We have to learn from the mistakes that we make. You understand? Don't beat up yourself, brother. Can I ask you a personal question? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In the past, were you um mm -hmm. have you had problems with relationships in the past? Mm, I will say that I had problems. I I think everybody's got them falling out. <clears throat> got a reason that people have to break up, so. So was this was this the first time that you've ever been in a relationship where the woman hurt you like this? Yes. All right. And all right, brother. This is the advice I'm gonna give you. You understand? Because this is a learning experience for everybody. Everybody that's on the live right now. May I be gonna please learn from this? Money, mm -hmm. yeah, buy love, yeah, my brother. And if you find yourself having to spend to get somebody's attention or to get somebody's adoration, that is an automatic red light. You me tell you, in the future, when you go in a future relationship, you understand me? I say, when you go in a future relationship, turn off them comments, people. You may turn off the comments, you know, 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 Money cannot buy love. You understand me? I say my boss. And if you find it fine, say you have to spend money to get the person to spend time with you, to get the person to talk to you on the phone, to get the person to engage in a conversation with you. Once you find yourself doing that, that should be an automatic red flag to tell us that this person is not for you and this person doesn't actually mean you any good, bro. You understand me? I say, I understand, say, she's a nice looking girl and you probably were infatuated with her looks at first and then something. I understand she should probably tell you some things and probably you and her had conversations and feel attack and them something. You probably were enthralled with her presence and her old aura because she seems to be somebody that probably is extremely charismatic. So I understand you falling for her and I don't want you to feel like I, I think of you as an idiot or a fool for doing something like that because we are all human and as humans we all seek companionship mm -hmm. and we all seek that nurturing present from somebody else. So do not feel that I am bashing you or we are going to look at you as a fool or say you're an idiot because we all go through things like this. You understand me, Sam Jay? Mm -hmm. So one more from you one more if you do is um stay away from a relationship right now. Nobody go on to go get in a relationship with nobody else. What if a girl I got in a DM right now? Because them ear say it's a nice you know. You understand them ear say. Zane, he's a nice you, them he says a decent you, and then something. Um, not for them people, I got not for the girls, I got try to come get at you and try to come tell you sweet nothing and try to come, um, um, we call it now, console you in your time of need right now, brother. You don't need that right now. Me, honestly, would have tell you, say, you just need to just find yourself, look in yourself and find a way to love yourself for you. Find a way to enjoy your own company. Find a, find a way to get a nurturing and a comfort that we need from any other individual. 
from yourself. You understand me, I say? Right, I know. See, I'm not about the comment. Chuka, una, una be very disgusting. You know? See? Try to find a way to find your own self. See, my boss? Don't feel no way. Don't feel, 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 feel don't feel stupid. Don't feel, feel like saying do nothing wrong. Because you thought that you found love. You thought that, you thought that you found somebody that was genuine to you. You thought that you found somebody that you could spend the rest of your life. Well, allegedly. Zin, I don't want you to look at this and for this to tarnish your whole being or to destroy the person that you are. You understand me? I say, enough of us look at people and say, okay, automatically we know them, automatically we see them, automatically we can trust them, and we end up getting hurt. It's just unfortunate that you are to fall in a situation like this. Now you need to set up and go out and find yourself, bro. Love yourself. You understand? Be with yourself. Understand, console yourself, comfort yourself, confide in yourself, and build yourself stronger to go out there. So when something else like this happens, you will find you will find a way or find actions to do to, 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 to prevent this thing from coming again. You can see the signal then. You can see when people are taking a fool, you can see when people are trying to manipulate it. Cool, bro? Yeah, I hear you. Make sure you're not ball over there, Andre. I'm good, man. Just yeah. listening. So, all right. If you could have said anything at all to her, if anything at all, if you could have sent a message to her right now, anything at all, what would, it, what would be the message that you would say to her right now? I got nothing to say. Huh? I got nothing to say. You got nothing at all to say? Well, I honestly, um, I know it would never happen because I know her and I know her pride, but I, I would love for her to, even if, even mm -hmm. if she believes that she's right, I believe what she should do is make a public apology to the Jamaica Constabulary Force or whatever the name. Because how she went about bashing them was real bad. Like, the man, I don't understand why she do that. Like, if she went there for help, then try it again. Don't don't get on live and bash the people out there to protect you. You know what I mean? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You don't say I want a different type of man. I want a really different type of man. We don't want, we don't want to say what are everything we could have said to that woman. Everything we could have said to that woman. The only thing we feel like you would have said to her, I tell her, I said, I apologize. To the Jamaica Constabulary Force, you wouldn't even have asked her apology to you. Nah, if, if she want to give me an apology, she could give me. It, it don't, that's her thing. If she don't want to, then whatever. But she needs to apologize to the people that, at the end of the day, that's the people that are going to look like, oh, that, listen to me, without the police, place will run rampant. People is, people is talk about they hate the police, they hate the police, but the police are there for a purpose. If if the police, it'd be well, well west over here. People don't realize that. Yeah, the, so the police, everything they do don't be right, but without the police, man, you don't, you don't, don't want to know what the world will be like. Just, right, just Jake, having that Jake, body. Jake, Jake, as I say, he's a better man than me. I big you up. If you have anything, anything you want to say to the people, I'm out there, you can't see what I'm going to say, right? I know it was in front of this, and thank you. Yeah, I just I just want to say thank you for all the people that reached out and uh, showed me support. It was overwhelming. I did not believe that there were so many people that would have looked past the, what was being said and actually look into it and say, well, something adding up. So all the people that reached out to me and say, and they believe me and um, show me support and tell me I can get through it and tell me that life goes on. Thank you very much. It helped me to keep my head high and uh, I respect y'all for that. Thank you. Man, well, I'm talking about the comment they make me what they must say I know. I don't know what the junk them over here do still. <sighs> no, the junk them over here. People don't can't say what I say right there now. Zin. Jake, big up yourself, young brother. Enough respect. Thank you very much. You understand? Thanks for hearing me out, man. Well on there. Well on there. Your life of a king. If you have something to say to her, what would it be? Me, be man, girl. With my money, the, hey, hey, Dana, move from right to say, yeah. People, at the end of the day, 
at the end of the day, big up, Jake. Thank you very much for coming and sharing your story right there. You didn't have to do it. Understand? I appreciate the fact that you chose to share the story on my platform. Big up yourself, yeah, my brother, and thank you very much. All right, man. Bless. All right, enough respect. All right, people. Jake now want to ask it still, but me personally, I'm going to ask that young lady. I'm not going to talk to her Jezebel mama. I'm not going to talk to her mama. Her mama is eating. But to the young lady, if you have any form of decency in your heart, if you have any form of decency in your heart, I would really like for you. You don't have to even go to a public, a public forum. You don't have to go for your Instagram button. Just unblock Jake and send him a WhatsApp message and just say, I am sorry. That is all I'm going to give the man deserves at least that. All of this one was unnecessary and uncalled for. All of the people that unfollow me, the one that I block, I will not unblock. You know. All of them unfollow me, all of them sit on a walk and a chastise and a tear down my name, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All of them call me this and that and big sour this and dirty that, thank you very much. You understand? I appreciate it so much. You understand? Because no one way I follow me, you never did real from money. You never did true to the thing from money. The first sign of any form of iniquity, the first sign of any form of misrepresentation by a dirty stinking dunce, unintelligent, dark, scum, skirmish of the earth. And I am talking about the brother when he King Nixon. He had the worst, he had the worst thing ever. He's not even a Jamaican. And he is somebody that all he does is make videos and tarnish Jamaican entertainers. All he does is just create propaganda. And then the, the messed up part about it is when he starts his lives, he, he starts and says, if it's not from King Mixup, it is not factual. And he, 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 he propagates his fake news as facts. You understand me, I say? Zane, he propagates his fake news as facts. People, let me tell you this. Big up all that one with the over and take the time out on a busy day. You could have it anywhere in the world. I want to choose to come here and come watch my thing. You can go over to your park and watch what you want to say. But this right here, so people, my mom, my ex, is up on my draw my line. I done my wash my hand. And a young lady, I'm wash my hand. I'm mother. Jail, anytime you feel like you want to talk to somebody, you can call me and talk to me. All who wants to pick side, you can see my pick side. Big up on yourself. Much respect to all that one out there. 